Hey everybody, Swanik here, and today we are remaking Elite Four teams. The Elite Four are some of the region's best traders of all time, second after the champion. But we can agree that some of their teams just flat out suck. Some of them have repeats, Pokemon that aren't in their type specialty, not enough Pokemon from their home regions, or just not enough Pokemon in their teams. So this video will go over the Elite Four teams from just 1 to 7, JMA doesn't have an Elite Four, and give them some improvements. Some criteria we will follow. First, is that all Elite 4 teams should have a full team of 6. I mean, come on, these guys are the final bosses of the games. They should not have missing slots on their teams. The gloves should be off. Second, is that I will be trying to fill the Elite 4 teams with Pokemon from the home regions as much as I can. And third, I will be using Pokemon from the expanded decks from the third version of the games. For example, when we get to the Sinnoh Elite 4, I'll be using the Platinum decks because it follows a more variety of Pokemon compared to the Diamond and Pearl decks. Okay, let's get started! Okay, first up is the Kanto Elite 4, and my Arceus, what were they thinking? All of the Elite 4 have such bad teams. They have teams of 5, unnecessary repeats, and Pokemon that aren't even in the type specialties. Especially Agatha and Lance. Did you know that the only Ghosts and Dragon types out there in Kanto are the Gengar line and the Dragonite line? How can you specialize in a type if there was only one evolutionary line for each of these types? And sadly, since the Kanto deck sucks, we have limited options on what to give their teams. Let's start with Agatha. She specializes in Ghost types, but since the only Ghost types in Kanto are the Gengar line, we have nothing left to give her, and she ends up being more poison than Ghost. She tries to justify this by saying that she prefers scary, intimidating looking Pokemon. I suggest giving her an Alola Marowak. Oh come on, they let her use it in the Let's Go games. Arbok, Weezing, Crobat. Yeah, yeah, she uses Golbat instead of Crobat because Crobat didn't exist until Gen 2, but I refuse to give an Elite Four an unevolved Pokemon. They should be beyond that. Nidoking, because let's face it, she's more poison than Ghost, and look at it. Nidoking looks terrifying. And her ace, Gengar. Next is Bruno. And for some reason, they gave him two Onyxes. It baffles me why they didn't give him a Polaraft and a Primate. You know, you have other fighting types in Kanto, why didn't you use them? And for a sixth Pokemon, I give him Hitmontop. What? Hitmontop and Leon are in the decks? Then we should include Tyro and Hitmontop, since they're in the same evolutionary line. I mean, they added Yan Mega into the Jotun decks, so whatever. Next, we got Lance, and my Arceus, I hate his team. We feed the Dragonite line. Two of them are illegal, and the rest aren't even dragon types. He's more flying than dragon. His Let's Go team is, well, tolerable. But evolve as Seedra, man. You're an Elite Four. You should not be having an unevolved Pokemon. And finally, we have Lorelei. She specializes in Ice types, but the only fully evolved Ice types in Kanto are Lapras, Jinx, Dugong, and Cloyster. She also has a Slowbro for some reason. Personally, I replaced a Slowbro with an Alola Stand Slash. Like she has in Let's Go. And Alola Nine Tails wouldn't hurt either. I was thinking of giving her a Mr. Rhyme at one point since Mr. Mime is in the Pokedex and has a Galaria form, but Nine Tails is competitively better. That Aurora Veil is super handy. And now we move on to the Johto Elite Four. I'll be skipping Bruno because I'll just end up giving him the same team anyway. We'll start with Karen. Not sure why they gave her a Vile Blooming Gengar. You know, we have a Sneasel and a Tyranitar in the Jota decks, when did you use them? I'd fill out that last thought with an Alolan Muck. Come on, if there are level regional variants in Kanto, we should do the same thing for all other regions to make it fair. Or don't, Kanto gets all the unfair special treatment. Two Charizard Megas? That's fair! Now we move on to Koga. Why do you have a Fortress? You could have used any other poison type. Do you know how many poison types there are in Kanto and Johto? They're everywhere! You have so many other options! I'm replacing it with Weezing and a Tentacle. Arceus knows he needs some sort of defense against ground types. And finally, Will. For some reason, he is a repeat Zatu, and the rest of his team are Kantonian Psychic types. Come on, man, you could have showed up the cool new Jotonian Psychic types like Espeon. Karen has an Embryon. You might as well have an Evolution. You also could have used a Slow King and a Giraffe Rig. Let's move on to Hoenn. 
I'll be skipping Phoebe and Glacia because the Orax decks does have enough Ghost or Ice types to fill up a full team of 6. The only Ice types in Hoenn are Warring, Glalie, and Frostlass. And the only Ghost types in Hoenn are Dustmoor, Sableye, Bayonet, Shininja, and Frostlass. First is Drake, a repeat Shell Gone and a Flygon. His Emerald team is. somewhat better. The only Dragon types in Hoenn are Kingdra, Flygon, Altaria, and Salamence. I hate having to get Pokemon outside of type specialties, but what other choice do we have? Gotta give him a full team of 6 somehow. I suggest Agron, because Iris has one. And I guess people consider Agron Draconic somehow. And a Gyarados, because all Dragon type users always have a Gyarados, even though it's not a Dragon type. And lastly, Sydney. Luckily for Sydney, Pokemon has enough Dark types to make a full team. I'd combine his Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald teams together. I was thinking Obstagoon to replace Manian at one point, but I think him having a full team of Pokemon he has canonically works better. Plus, being double weak to fighting types is a bad idea. Fighting types are everywhere in today's meta. Next is Sinnoh, and first on the list is Aaron. His DP team is so terrible. Ew, a beautiful and dust tux. So scary. And I don't care that Drapion used to be a bug type, it's not a bug type anymore. I changed his ace to Vesti Plan. His Platinum team is so much better. Although I am adding more Medan to the tune. Yes, I know that they're not strong and that I made a big stink about beautifying Dog Talks being weak, but Wormadang and Cricket are the only Sinoian bug types left in Sinnoh. Next is Bertha. It bothers me that she has a pseudo widow. It's not even a ground type. You could have used any other ground type, like a Rhyperior. The team I'd give her is Golem, Lyscor, Gastrodon, Mamoswine, Rhyperior, and Hippowdon. I could have given her a Torterra or Garchomp, but Gardenia and Cynthia already have them. Cynthia has a Gastrodon? Yeah, yeah, but it's a different form. Now, we're on to Flint. His DP team is absolutely terrible. Only two fire types. The only fire types in the DP decks are Rapidash and Inferno. We would have given them a Magmortar or added in more fire types, but no. What were they thinking? This Platinum team is so much better, but I would have added in a Rotom. And finally, Lucian. I actually have no problems with this team whatsoever, apart from not having a full team of six. I just combined his DP and Planet teams together. I know Giraffarig sucks, but Lucian already has a fighting type in his team, and that's Gallade. Plus, Giraffarig is at least immune to ghost types. And now we move on to my favorite region, Unova. I have no problems with the teams. They all use different Pokemon, but they all have four Pokemon on their team. They're only only four, so let's give them four Pokemon. That's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Let's start off with Caitlyn. The team I would have given her is Behem, Swoobat, Rasharna, Sigilyph, Reuniclus, and Gothitelle. From Grimsley, I would have given him a Zoroark, Lipard, Scrafty, Crocodile, Bisharp, and Mandibuzz. Marshall's next, and his team would be Scrafty, Sock and Throw, Embor, Mianxiao, and Conkeldur. And finally, Chantel. Funnily enough, she's the only member of the Univite Leaf for without a full team of Renova Ghost types. The only ghost types introduced in Gen 5 are Carpagrigas, Jellicent, Golurk, and Chandelure. At least the BW2 Pokédex has more Pokémon to use, so just give her a Bayonet and Driftblim. And now, the Colossus Elite 4, who also have 4 Pokémon. <sighs> Who's directing these games? I'm gonna give each of them a Mega Evolution, since Megas are a central part of Colossus' lore. And these guys are the final bosses of Kalos, they all deserve one. First, we got Drasna. The team I would have given her is Dragalge, Altaria, Tyrantrum, Gudra, Mega Garchomp, and Noivern. The reason why I give her Mega Garchomp is because she grew up in Sinnoh hearing stories about Diagon Polkia, which inspired her to specialize in dragon types. It just makes sense. Next is Malva, and her team would be Torkoal, Pyroar, Chandelure, Delphox, because she has one of the Avengers manga, and it was the only other color team fire type to have. Mega Houndoom, like she has in the anime, and Talonflame. And now it's Seabolt's turn. His team will be Politoed, because 
the French love the frog legs. <laughs> Plus, Drizzle set up. Plowitzer, Starmie, Gyarados, Mega Blastoise like in the anime, Mega Gyarados was taken, and Barbarical. And finally, Wigstrom. Clef Key, Probopass, Escavalier, Skarmory, Mega Scizor, like the one he uses in the 17th movie, and Aegis Slash. And finally, we reach Alolus Elite 5. Seriously, there are like 5 members. And speaking of 5s, they all have 5 Pokemon on their team. No problem with their team compositions, just needed more Alolan Pokemon. For Acerola's team, I give her a Sensor Style Oracorio, Alolan Marowak, Mimikyu, Decidueye, Dalmice, and Palisand. For Hollis' team, I give him a Kamo'o, Polarath, Machamp, Beware, Hariyama, and Carbominable. Kahili's team would be Bale Style Oracorio, Skarmory, Crobat, Alucha, Minyor, and Tokanon. Yeah, I know that Icerola already has an Oracorio as well, but it's in a different form, and they didn't really introduce a lot of flying types in Alola, so what was I supposed to do? Molly's team would be Klefki, Alola Sandslash, Togedemaru, Bisharp, Metagross, and Alola Ductrio. And finally, Olivia. Her team would be Carbink, Gigalith, Minyor. Again, they didn't introduce a lot of new Alolan rock types. Radially, Alolan Golem, and Midnight Lock and Rock. And that's it! We're done! That's all of the Elite Four teams and how I would improve them. I'll admit, some of these teams won't be a real threat to you, but if you have any suggestions like, say, movesets or team lineups, leave them in the comments below. Or, better yet, join my Discord and we can discuss them together. Alright, see ya!